Do not underestimate people's affinities for what you're doing. Hi. So last night, I went to a show at the Bootleg Theater here in LA to see an artist by the name of Brother Tiger. Now, Brother Tiger is by no means a big artist. I discovered his music on a Spotify playlist when I was driving up to San Francisco from Los Angeles. And one track in particular, High Tide, which I will put a link in the description below for you to check out, spoke to me so resonantly. And ever since then, I took the deep dive uh, into his catalog. I really liked his lyrical themes. For whatever reason, his perspective, his point of view resonated with mine. He was better articulating the emotions I had inside at the time, especially, in ways that my regular words just couldn't. Not underestimating affinity. As soon as the tickets were announced via the Bands in Town app, which by the way is pretty much one of the only apps I allow push notifications for because I never want to miss out on concerts from artists that I love. As soon as tickets went on sale, I bought them instantly. So last night I went to the show and it was a very small crowd, intimate setting. The theater is not big by any means. One thing happened that I couldn't quite predict. That was so cool. Music that only existed in my headphones, that only existed in my car, that only existed in my speakers, and nowhere else. None of my friends listened to Brother Tiger. I felt like the show itself was a personal show for me. He became real, and the fact that I was sharing that experience with only maybe at most a couple hundred other people who also recognized when certain synth lines came in, who were singing along, not many people, I think I was one of maybe like three people, I swear, in the entire audience, I was actually like singing along to the songs. And that still made it special. He wisely got off stage, went straight to the merch booth where I proceeded to follow him. Uh, and I bought a t-shirt and exchanged some words and just said, dude, keep going. Like, I love your stuff. Uh, this was a special show for me. Do not underestimate people's affinities for what you're doing. People like me are your core audience. They are the ones who overlook any kind of metrics and judge you on the merit of your music alone. At no point when Spotify plays music for you, do they say the following artist has 60,000 Instagram followers and 1.2 monthly listeners on our platform. No, who cares? When I find an artist that's relatively small, I clamor over it. It's like my little secret. But I'll still buy your show tickets, I will still buy your merch, I'll still tell my friends about you, I will still support you every step of the way. So the moral of this story really is, well, keep going, number one. Number two, don't let numbers distract or deter you. If you may only have like 500 listeners per month on your music, pack 500 people into this loft or your house or whatever it is, that's a, that's a good amount of people. But you don't know the degrees of which all those people care about you. Not all fans are created equal. Not everyone is fanatical about you. I happen to be fanatical about this particular artist. Keep going, be patient, one fan at a time. And I use that word fan specifically. One fanatic, like me, at a time. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. And if you wanna have me talk about different subjects, different rants, anything you wanna see me rant on, cause I can rant for days, uh, let me know in the comments below. This has been Hisham for Artist Pro, and thanks for having a cup of coffee with me.